Hello and welcome to the Butterfly Sage. So today we are going to take some coleus cuttings and hope that I can keep them alive until spring. <laughs> and then I'm going to plant some yarrow and some delisperma. Oh, I love this bed. I love the way it looked this year. X minus the sun patience. It is time to say goodbye to this beautiful coleus in this area. It was really cold last night. We had our first frost, barely, just a teeniest bit of frost on the car. Not freezing temperatures. We rarely get freezing temperatures, but definitely frost. Hopefully you guys can see this. When taking cuttings from coleus, you look at the top two leaves and go down anywhere from three to five nodules. So one, two, three and cut just below. So hopefully, maybe this is, you can see this better. This is the nodule here, this is the first one. The second one is here, and the third one is here. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to want to, you're gonna wanna snip off all the side leaves. You can do it with your fingers too you have to or scissors if you can't find your pruners that happens to me you really technically don't even need the pruners you can also just pinch them off with your fingers they're pretty easy take them all off the sides except the last the two leaves at the top, leave those on. If it's flowering, take the flower out of the middle. And there we have it. And then you can either choose to put them in a glass or vase of water and root them in that way, or put some rooting hormone powder on it and stick them in dirt. Now today I am just going to put them in uh, glass water because I don't have time to pot up a bunch of dirt and get out the rooting hormone. I have another <laughs> video to edit, but I will probably uh, root them in with uh, rooting hormone powder and stick them in dirt later. But today for right now, I'm just going to stick it in a thane of water. Now that I've taken the leaves off, you can probably see the nodules better. There's one two, three, and then four. I believe I have 10 of them. Ideally, if you're gonna grow them in water, you wanna give each one their own jar. <laughs> Now it's time to plant some more yarrow. And instead of the firefly sunshine that I planted a couple weeks ago, this is firefly fuchsia. So it's going to be a very pretty bright pink color. Now, because I gave you all of the specifics and told you what butterflies that they attracted a couple weeks ago, I'm not gonna go through that today. But I'm gonna see if I can figure out the end screen and how to attach that video at the end of this video. <laughs> Of course I had to give Dexter his scratches before I could move on to the next plantings. And now on to plant the Delisperma or ice plant from Proven Winners. It is the pink radiance. 
and I tried to use the drill here myself but I've always had trouble right up here against the road this ground here is so hard it's like drilling into rock with a little bit of red clay soil mixed in so I went to go get my husband to use the drill because I just couldn't I just wouldn't cut through without extra pressure from above and I couldn't do it this pink radiance ice plant is supposed to get two to four inches tall and 20 inches to two feet wide. So it should make a great ground cover. Now Proven Winners is pretty good about breeding plants that don't spread too far out. And this one is only supposed to spread to two feet, but make sure in your area that ice plants are not invasive before you plant them. This plant is originally from South Africa and uh, so if you want a good native plant to substitute for an ice plant, the sand verbena does the same thing. The ice plants are really great because one, they do attract butterflies and pollinators, but two, they are very drought and heat tolerant, and they're also very good in terrible soil, which we have terrible soil right by the road. It's really rocky, and so we're constantly looking for stuff that's going to do well up next to the road and that's why we are trying it here. I am not super familiar with ice plants. This is the first time I've planted ice plants so we shall see how it does if it even grows here up next to the road or if it gets out of control but just check in your area to make sure it's not invasive before you plant it. Now I don't know of any specific type of butterfly that is attracted to this plant but it is a good nectar source for pretty much all butterflies. Now this ice plant is good for zones 5b through 10. Some ice plant varieties are more cold tolerant than others but I probably wouldn't risk it if I was lower than a zone 5. And we are done. Well that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, feed the pollinators for me.